Hello. I wanted to make a very quick overview of um, the new knife by uh, BRS Knives. Uh, it's supposed to be a cheaper version of the DBK knife. Just got released this uh, week. Got it on Amazon. So DBK is this uh, YouTube channel that reviews knives and um, a year or two ago they designed a uh, bushcraft knife that was made by TRC. Um, it was very expensive, it was I think closer to $500. LMAX, uh, made by one of the probably more precise knife makers in Europe, TRC knives. Um, but it was very expensive. Um, very comfortable, very, you know, well-made, I think, acceptable knife, but expensive. So they partnered with uh, BRS, which is a company in Ukraine, to make a cheaper version of their knife. As you can see, it's very similar. Uh, it costs only $50, so it's basically almost 10 times cheaper. Um, they use 1066 carbon steel, which is very simple carbon steel with nothing extra in it, basically similar to 1084, I think. Thinner stock, very sharp spine, saber grind with a V edge. This one is kind of saber grind with a convex edge. The handle is, um, you know, I don't know if this is oak or walnut, something like that. Um, You know, comfortable enough. Uh, the handle is definitely less thick, as you can see. Um, it's, you know, probably three eighths of an inch thinner in some areas, and it doesn't have the ergonomic shape. This will rust, if not taken care of. Overall, kind of made pretty roughly. You know, there's a lot of grind lines, but. Does that really affect function? No. I haven't used it on anything, really. It's, you know, sharp enough. Not super sharp, but I think for the price, it's acceptable. This will definitely have to be resharpened. You know, this is a kind of knife that's made to be used, and uh, if you use it, it will get dull. This is definitely better. Comes with a little fire steel. That should be fine. So you have a little stick here. Does it cut wood? You know, kind of cuts wood, <laughs> sort of. Oh, that's a little bit better. But I think you could resharpen it and uh, probably make it almost as good, if not the same. Um, it's a nice knife. I think for $50, this would make a great gift for somebody. Uh, it does have the DBK label there, which is, uh, you know, people will like. It comes with a fire steel. One kind of weird thing is that it comes with this weird sheath. BRS actually makes normal sheaths for a lot of their knives that are quite nice. This one has this weird belt to hold it in place. And <laughs> number one is just, I think not really convenient for most people to have the belt here and open it and close it. Number two is that it's not tight enough to really hold the knife in place. So this is absolutely new and not stretched out and uh, you can do this very easily. And you can definitely shake it out of there too. So I don't know, it's a little bit disappointing. Uh, for those who are interested, the thickness of the spine is uh, one or, or 0 0.12 basically. So a little bit smaller than one eighth of an inch, which is for this kind of a size knife, I think completely acceptable. I don't think you can break the steel because it's so tough. Um, it would be a good knife for somebody to get and really use and potentially learn to sharpen because um, this knife will get dull. Um, I think it can get really sharp, but then it will also get dull. So, perfect knife for somebody to practice 
or to learn sharpening. I think that's what I'll probably do first is um, sharpen it, make it a little bit uh, better slicer and see if I can get it to cut wood the same as uh, this knife, which I think I can. And uh, then definitely have to do something about the sheath because this is just, just kind of annoying and disappointing. But uh, here you go. If you have $50 to spare and want something interesting, this is not a bad deal. You'll be surprised. It's definitely rougher made than most of the knives we see in the United States, at least. Um, the grind marks are quite impressive. But, you know, completely acceptable, I think. There you go. Thanks for watching.